and print care, education for sustainable development and school subject disciplines. This is the introduction to a five part series providing some starting points. Sustainable, the Sustainable Development Goals or the SDGs and new environmental knowledge are explicit across most school subject disciplines and has come in fairly recently. And we are approaching this as circles of care for care for the self, others and surroundings. And the way this is reflected in the curriculum documents is often around the development of self, social responsibility and environmental health and sustainability. So it comes up in a wide variety of ways in different um, subject disciplines. For handprint care, we've taken up the idea of earth democracy that connects people in circles of care, cooperation and compassion. So this is a, an ethics led learning approach. And here the circles of care are caring for self, others and surroundings, as well as caring about sustainable material practices. And of course, these two um, categories of care are actually connected to each other. When we look at school subject disciplines, many of the environment and sustainability matters of concern have come up as focuses of concern. And working with Anne Edwards, Vygotsky and task sequencing, the startup is often developed around heritage and story that needs to be related to the learners so that they can engage um, leading questions that produce depth inquiry. The depth inquiry, when it's reported, can often lead to shared concerns to deliberate and resolve the concerns that have come up. And then these develop a shared purpose towards exploring better ways of um, doing things and then further reflections. So that what we've got here is an iterative process that can be very useful for um, the planning of lessons and the interpreting of um, the contents and intent of a um, school subject discipline. In Fundisa for Change, as teacher professional development, the concern is to enhance knowledge of subject, expand teaching practice and improve assessment practices. And here, um, what new environment and sustainability, sustainability knowledge and competences does the curriculum specify for the subject discipline I teach is often the opening question that teachers um, develop their learning around. And what new methods can I explore to strengthen learning competence and agency is similarly where they will then take the learning progressions to expand their teaching practices. And what balance of assessment is necessary to document significant learning outcomes and to enable learners to assess their change projects. Um, that is the improvement of assessment practices in the school context. So ESD as ethics led learning in school subject disciplines is opened in the five part series with number one on learning task sequencing. And here the question is, how do we need to expand existing lesson routines? Then on to action learning theory, what recent learning theory is useful for informing ESD and into ethics in learning. How do we best mediate ethics led learning? And on to project work, which um, is concerned with change projects. What pedagogy is needed to mediate project work around ESD? And finally, um, video five is on ESD processes. What should an ESD learning process look like and include? So the five parts Parts one to five provide theory and starting points to expand existing teach, task, test learning sequences in school subject disciplines, so as to include ESD as a learner led inquiry and change challenge around projects and other work that can be taken within the subject disciplines. Now I've included in the references um, Anne Edwards work on um, designing task sequencing to engage learners in knowledge and also 
the um, recent UNESCO publication on learning and training environments um, that are um, changing through ESD.